morning. So I'm meeting BG and John at a secret location today for a model sale out of a storage unit. I've been there before and I think last year that I picked up the, the Tamiya 300 ZX convertible, the uh, Alfa Romeo Giulia, and uh, the Sauber C9 uh, before it was reissued. So I'm hoping that uh, he's got some new stuff uh, for sale and uh, maybe we can find a bargain. Check out these yellow box kits. Some of them are testers kits from Italeri, and some of them are the Fujimi enthusiast kits. Great, great kits. I also noticed that he had a 250 California in there as well. Good stuff. Lots of old, nice kits. I think those are all from like the 90s. He's got some of the normal kind of 80s and 90s kits as well. I'm sure there's something that you guys would be interested in. Look at that, a, a Smoothster. Chrysler Atlantic. Sprint cars, you don't see those very often anymore. Wild Willy Borscht kit. Oh, the land, the, uh, land speed car. That's kind of cool. Some race F1 cars. Kind of odd stuff there. Yeah, just lots of great kits. Look at all this stuff. There's another Boyd car. Uh, some more Tamiya cars. Some old stuff up there, too. You guys may want to back it up a little bit and uh, rewatch this part. Being in a storage unit, they're a little dusty, and the decal sheets are kind of crusty, but uh, it's worth it. Very expensive. He's got good prices. I look forward to the next time we go back. Look at that 275 coupe up there. What we're hearing now is that these uh, these tools can be recut using uh, you know 3D imaging technology. For example, they have methods by which they can do these things. More F1 cars. I was talking to somebody. It's expensive to do it, and somebody would have to want to. Yeah. Lots of those stelts. You're not going to make any money doing it. It's just that it can't be done. I see you found your way. Some bike kits. There's some really old stuff over here. Blue printer reissues. A couple of those Jimmy Flintstone resin kits. Some old Johan stuff there. Here's some more of those enthusiast kits. This time in for Jimmy boxing. And more. Johans. Look at that. Some high dollar Tamiya kits. It's pretty rare stuff in here. Some older stuff. Hey, BG. Old AMT Craftsman. What's up, hey. SME? <laughs> no, I don't have my hat on. I'm not representing. <laughs> Some old Fujimi kits and some uh, Gunzi kits. A couple of Tamiya's in there. Tamiya, excuse me. It's a four-door. Some odd stuff. Yeah. 
and it shows hey, everything that's for kits. sale that you can't buy. Accurate miniatures kits on the internet, you know. Look at that. Those DBS. Galaxy kits, those are yeah. kind of rare. Look at that, Aston Martin DBS. Put that back, Brian. That? That's too expensive. No, I've, I've already <laughs> built it. It's a beautiful kit. You already built this? Yes. Is that why you're not throwing on yourself on this like a, like a grenade? Yeah, right. Yeah. And a couple more stuck back here in the corner. Look at that. Carcraft Dream Ride. Look at that Carcraft. Wow. That's kind of cool. Carcraft Dream Ride. A whole bunch of trumpeters. Those are uh, trumpeter kits. Well, if there's nothing back there on that back shelf. Back like I said, you guys may want to rewatch all this. So much good stuff in here. Yeah, a couple more little kits over there. So I'm back home now. Man, it's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. The the guy that was selling the model cars in Arizona here is an old friend of mine from Toledo. Uh, the Toledo Toy Show back in the 90s was the biggest thing pretty much in the whole Great Lakes area. Um, if you couldn't find it in Toledo, then uh, it really just didn't exist. It was a huge swap meet. And um, Mike Kachaba, the, the seller, um, he used to have a table there and he would have like five tables full of old kits and uh, he would make you good deals. But um, yeah, I was surprised that it, to find out that the guy selling models today was the same guy that I knew from way back when in the 90s. So you may wonder, after looking at all of those kits, what did I buy? Don't laugh. So years ago, I bought the uh, full detail Chazoom and um, in that kit you cut the, the hood open on it. Well, I butchered it. I, I don't know what I used. I, I don't know if I used a freaking table saw or what, but I, I really cut those gaps way too big and I didn't really want to have to add material to both sides of the hood to uh, to make it fit again. So um, for five bucks this was a deal. I'll get a replacement body and uh, I can finally build a Boyd Chazoom my big score of the day was this Enthusiast Series BMW 635 M 635 CSI. This is an Enthusiast Series kit, and um, there's probably, what, 250, 300 pieces in this kit. Everything is super detailed. The hood opens, the trunk opens. Um, every suspension piece is a separate piece. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful kit. And um, I got it for 25 bucks, so pretty happy about that make sure that you check out brian bg model works channel he got a stack of great models so go check his channel out and uh i'll see you guys next time bye